Look at my little fishy tank. Isn't she so pretty? And of course, this is a giant wine glass that I got from the food bank, actually. And then I got a little betta fish. And I have one lone survivor from my glowfish experiment where I got a whole bunch of glowfish for a dollar a piece at Meyers on a sale. But then I didn't have anywhere to put them when I got home because the tank that I thought I was going to use wouldn't hold water. But this is the one lone survivor of the ten that we got. And uh, now she lives in this little giant wine glass with a bubbler and a little skull. Aren't they cute? I love them. Well, hello my darlings. I know I have been MIA for a bit, but I thought it was about time for me to check in. Oh, puppies and Marys are all getting loud and mad at me. Um, just making dinner right now. Mary's running around being crazy. Uh, Mary, chill out! Been kind of in my own little bubble. You want to say hello? Mary wants to say hello. Why do I like to screech? Ooh, ooh, now you got Moocher going, in, going with you. Ooh, ooh. But, uh, basically I've just been in my own little world. Been in a little bubble. Um, haven't been really social or doing much of anything except for cleaning. I've just been really, really focused on um, trying to do my routines, keep up with the house, and make progress. I've been tackling big projects, like I've been doing, going through the kids' rooms, um, pretty much like with a fine tooth comb, going through their drawers and their clothes and their toys and like I said before, I was in the mood, I, I was feeling the urge to purge and that is exactly what I've been doing. Which has been getting rid of a lot of stuff. Um, and it feels great. Every once in a while I'll just walk through the house and kind of like just be in awe of how much different everything is now that it's like not piled high with stuff and clutter. Um, feels pretty good. I'm Right now, I guess, my project I've been working on, I just started shampooing the carpet yesterday, like, a little bit at a time, because, uh, I've basically been sleeping a lot, and, um, focusing on the dishes and laundry, and then, like, having a project. Like, started off with the girls' room and spent a couple of days going through everything in there. Spent a couple of days in B's room going through everything in there. Um, you know, and then I, like, I vacuumed the whole house. Um, and like I said, now I'm kind of, my next focus is shampooing the carpet in chunks. I don't have the energy to do the whole thing in one felt swoop. The shampooing the carpets is really hard on me physically. So, it's definitely something I have to do a little bit at a time. It's time to do something. Is it? Oh, shower. Time for shower rounds. This mess. Is it gonna let me keep recording? Yay! Uh, yep. Yeah. I think we're still recording. Okay, we're good. But, um, then I. Just to show you a little bit of what I've been doing. I'm gonna turn lights on. Um, I can't, I don't know if you guys remember what it used to look like, but. The tree is gone. All of the bins are gone. You can actually see the floor here at the um, the bookshelves in front of the frog tank. And I just need to put this Chewy's tank up on Craigslist so we can put the new snake tank over there. But uh, yeah, there's no more piles of stuff 
over here. But you can see the girls' floor. Their beds are pretty much made. You can see their closet floor, which is a huge one. That was the big trick, was having to go through their closet and get rid of... I got rid of, like, three garbage bags of stuff out of this room. Like, you can see the tops of their dressers, kind of, sort of. Catherine's drawers almost closed now. But yeah, three bags of stuff, not including the drawers. I think we had at least three bags of stuff out of B's room. <sighs> Leaving messes everywhere. Somebody's phone is in the bathroom. Now my table's cleaned off. My desk isn't piled high full of crap and papers. Um, living room isn't bad. I've been trying to declutter in here, but there's, it, like, like I said, there's still things, I, little bits that are re getting cluttered again. Um, Mary's area, I haven't really done too much over there. Just trying to keep it kind of tight. Oh! Okay, fruitcake. I'm insane. Laundry room isn't piled full of crap. Yeah, been trying to keep up on the kitchen floor. Been trying to at least sweep it every day, and been mopping it almost every day. I still got to get to the carpets in this room. It's driving me crazy. But like the tops of the dressers in the bedroom aren't piled. You can get to the floor. I'm gonna need to spend some time on my closet, but I'm not ready for that at this moment. I'm trying to work on the floors right now. But, but, so that's what I've been doing. Just slowly, slowly, slowly chipping away at projects. I think it's come a long way. I still have stuff to do, but the bigger projects the ones that have been haunting me and giving me nightmares, at, like Bee's room, at least those ones are out of the way. So it feels doable now, instead of like overwhelming as soon as I think about trying to get my house clean. But small goals and maintenance. I've really been trying to focus on maintenance and like even if I don't feel good, at least try to keep up on dishes and laundry which I have I've been starting to slack off on I was doing really really good with that for a while but lately I've been last couple days anyways I've been starting to slack off on doing my kitchen stuff at nighttime before bed um, I've been starting to kind of wind down um, I guess I'm kind of just getting comfortable in my routines like, I'm doing the same thing. I'm sleeping in, I'm still sleeping in super late, but I don't feel guilty about it really anymore because I'm still keeping up on things, you know. Before I would feel guilty about it because I'm like, oh, I'd get so much more done if I could go to bed at a reasonable time and get up early and I'd get my house clean, but my house is pretty much kind of clean. It's just like I said, little stuff that I'm working on. So I don't feel guilty about the house being a mess anymore. Um, but, uh, definitely been starting to feel comfortable in my routines because I don't feel like going and doing anything else. Like, I know that I should probably go and try to do something to kind of, I don't know, just do something other than the same exact monotonous routine that I've been doing every day. Um, you know, get out and do something, be social, have somebody come over and hang out with me, something. Because um, it's kind of just humdrum. Which is, it's a good thing. Because I'm not stressing over anything. I don't have any huge dilemmas or anything stressing me out. Which is amazing. It feels great to have all of like the big huge stressors behind us. John has been doing great recovering from his surgery. Um, you know, he's still got some discomfort and he gets tired real quick, um, but he's got a lot more mobility. Um, he actually went out and worked on the snow yesterday just to push himself a little bit. Um, but things are just kind of chugging right along. So there's really nothing exciting to talk about. No drama. 
which is all good, good, good stuff, really. Um, but I have been having a flare starting up the last couple of days. I kind of started feeling it coming on. But this morning, particularly, like, my back has been aching. I've been getting, like, the body chills and funky stuff, like, from a fibro, fibro flare. So I'm probably going to be taking it easy, or at least trying to take it easy for the next couple days. So that I don't trigger an even worse flare. Because um, I have been trying to push myself and get something accomplished every day. Um, you know, like I said, mainly focusing on maintenance. Focusing on routines. I've kind of drifted away from even using my my uh, G-Task to-do list where I check things off. Because, um, I've been drifting away from using my, my G-Task to-do list a little bit, which I do think I want to start trying to to utilize that a little bit more just to kind of help me fine tune my routines um because i feel like i have been starting to get a little bit lazy on them um but i'm caught up on laundry um i've been even like going through and pairing up the socks on a regular basis which is one of the things that chores i usually dread is having to sit down and sort those socks but i've been doing that even so I feel like I'm actually, since I've been getting through everybody's bedrooms and their dressers and their closets and all the nooks and crannies and corners of their room, I feel like I've rounded up pretty much all of the stray hiding socks in the house. So I feel like pretty soon I'm going to be able to throw away a whole bunch of the ones that don't have matches, which is going to feel so good because I've had this one basket that seems like I've had this one basket of single socks for years now. And it's about time to go through and just give up on waiting for pairs to pop up on a whole bunch of them. I guess that's about it. Um, heck, I even gave the dogs a bath. Uh, like two days ago, I think. So, the dogs are even clean, which is wonderful. I cleaned the ferret cage, not the ferret cage, ha! Ah, now I'm really going back. Uh, the rat cage. I got the rat cage all cleaned out. Um, so the only animal cage that I still need to, t to knock out is Moocher's bird cage, which is an easy one. Um, that's about it. Got my car fixed, my radiator. So I have heat in my car again. That's a wonderful thing. So like I said, just lots of good stuff. But, uh, I think I need to get out and do something sometime soon just to, you know, throw some spark in there something different to break up the monotony but that's about it i hope everybody else is doing really well um i really want to try to encourage myself to start vlogging again um just if, if for no other reason than to keep myself from just completely crawling into my bubble and not caring about my goals and my tasks because that's usually what will happen next I'll do really well for a while and then I'll kind of get bored with it and I'll start to kind of drift away or I'll, I'll be binge watching a TV show and just decide that I don't feel like oh I don't really need to go do laundry because I'm caught up so I really want to stick to maintaining my routines um, focusing on trying to you know do like the one routine at a time to fine-tune things um and just kind of keep up with my maintenance stuff i've been really trying to push myself to do that and i want i'm hoping that if i start getting myself to vlog again then i'll kind of be holding myself accountable so i won't be as likely to drop the ball and um crawl into binge watching even though i have been binge watching um ER right now on Hulu. They just put up not recent, not too long ago. They have the whole every season. It's like 15 seasons of ER. So I've been kind of sucked into that lately. It's been my show of the month. But um, yeah, so I guess that's it. Um, tell me what everybody else has been up to. See, you know, hit me up in the comments. Start some conversations. Poke at me a little bit here and there. I need, to, I need that poking to be social or I'll, I'll disappear but i will talk to you guys later thanks for watching Bye. Ain't always look on the bright side of life 
Come on! Always look on the bright side of life For life is quite absurd And death's a final word You must always face the curtain with a bow 